how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a dinosaur ghost, specifically a, uh, a triceratops. It's going to be simple, easy, for beginners. So stay all the way to the end of the video. It's only going to be an eight minute video. So eight minutes and you'll have a new skill in your arsenal. Um, if you like Halloween and you like Halloween drawings um, and you like feeling the Halloween spirit, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. I'm going to post videos through the month, uh, you know, it's a seasonal channel, and it's going to notify you when I post them, and you don't want to miss out, all right? Uh, that is it. I'm going to be using this Crayola brand marker and this paper. If you're also a big fa fan of Halloween, hit the like button, because this is a very uh, different video, I suppose. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is, I'm out of breath here, I'm just like, <laughs> like <laughs> go over here and draw that Triceratops horn, which is really just like, more or less like a triangle. Or not even like a V shape right underneath. Curve around. <sighs> Go here to the front. Excuse me. Front. Down. That kind of beak in the front of the triceratops pulling up. Back. Going over here. Out. Cross. Um. line over here for the eye. I'm going to put a little line like so and fill in the rest of it. I'm really just trying to make that the highlight. Line over here for the back of the eye. And now let's throw the horn of the Triceratops, alright? One right there. One over here, one right here. Okay down back for kind of underneath here and now we do we draw the crown of the triceratops is another big feature obviously the biggest feature of the triceratops is the three horns on the front um, you can even look at uh, oh, do I have a figure here here's a triceratops figure right that's a big thing but it's also this crown I don't know if you can see that sorry about that the angles a little weird but it's also the crown there of this uh, back here. Gonna go up. And as I go in a circle, I'm gonna be doing this kind of flower shape, okay? Curve over here, in. All right. I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to draw spikes coming out the outside here. Like so. <clears throat> Curving line. Well, so. He's usually like on all fours, but we're gonna do something a little different for this. We're gonna uh, maybe have like I'm gonna pull down here, and I'm gonna give him an like almost like they're pulling pulling out his arms over here, right here, and I'm gonna make it flat. Right, he more or less has like elephant. Uh, that kind of has like an elephant style body or rhino style body, I believe. <sighs> Out over here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I never yawn on these. Do I? Do I ever yawn? And I'm gonna throw little nails right on it. Like so. Okay, doing good. Doing good. Let me know if I'm, you know, been too quick here. I'm gonna throw a line from the back here going down for more or less kind of like kind of that it could be a little bit lower but I'll make it like so line over here and S curve line over here we got that ghost tail all right let's go over here into the horns maybe draw a thin line along the horn to give it some sort of texture, give it some sort of form. 
line over here. Let's go to the front as well. Curve line here, right there, for kind of that beak of the front. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to throw a line over here. All right. Maybe a line here, small line along the back here to transition into that kind of the back. Line here, line here, line here, line here. Maybe a line under the armpit here. <laughs> and maybe a line above for the brow, like so. And then one last thing, I'm gonna draw, since this is the ghost, where it's kinda, he's gonna be more or less see-through. I'm gonna draw some with a colored pencil. Maybe a blue line along the edge of a kind of everywhere. Just along the edge. And it gives it this like translucent uh, like look, right? It makes him look more like he's the color white. I guess you could technically make him green and stuff too, but I like, you know, he's supposed to be a spectral form, so he's supposed to be totally white. And that comes off a lot more obvious when uh, you do that. Let me sharpen my pencil a little bit more here. Oops, a daisy. Did I sharpen a crayon in this thing? What is this? All right. And that's it. Oh, what the? And that is pretty much it. You can do that a couple of places here, or more than you need, actually, if you want. Um, that That's good right there. And I don't even know if you could see that on camera, honestly. I'm just putting it, you know, around, along the edges here and there. Nothing wild. You can throw it in every edge, actually, and it would still be fine. Thank you so much. That is it. Um, there is a free uh, gift for you in the description. Uh, there are free Halloween drawing templates. So if you like learning how to draw Halloween, uh, there are templates, like meaning like a page where you have like one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, like of a drawing and it's almost always it's always a past drawing lesson we went over um, So that's a template. Uh, there are 100 templates. I'm giving you for free. It is Printer friendly you can print it out very easily. It's made to be printed out all in the description Like in the first link go get that completely free last year was a product I actually sold it last year this year I'm giving it away for free because it's been a tough year and a half for a lot of people and I thought you know what this would be nice as a giveaway um, Thank you so much. If you feel like I am giving you value, if you feel like I'm giving you value by showing you how to draw this and the stuff, uh, there is one, the best way to repay me back is to share this video with a friend of yours uh, so that maybe they'll follow as well. Uh, or the other thing which is just as good is go to the bottom right hand of the screen right of the, of the box here and there is a share button on YouTube and you can automatically share it in two seconds to Pinterest or Twitter or anything else you're logged into just that auto share is amazing and if you can do more that's awesome too but like that is it does so much more than you think it does uh, thank you so much I'll see you in the comment section I'll talk to you later and stay spooky